Hi, it's giveaway time. I'm going to uh, pick the winner for this uh, J car, which is, <laughs> it's back to front. It's flipped, so all the electrons are going to fall out that side. Um, <laughs> because if you don't know, I have to flip the screen because where the camera is, if I'm looking at the screen like this, then I don't want my eyes darting off like that because it doesn't look good to the viewer. Anyway, um, <laughs> like, I don't know, when was it? Uh, August 9th, I put this video up about uh, this $5 oscilloscope I got from the J-Car sale. I did a repair on it. Um, I replaced the uh, screen, and it seems to be working just fine. I got two probes for it, dual channel, 100 megahertz jobby, with a 25 meg function gen as well. It's a little bit quirky to use, but it's going to make a good scope for some youngster, and I promised to give it away to a local uh, youngster, as in here in Australia. So thank you to all those who entered. And um, there were lots of good entries in here. And sorry, I've only got one to give away. Um, <laughs> so, you know, look, I, I, I won't go through them all. I'll link it in down below and you can read uh, for yourself. You know, there's um, people doing like, you know, aerospace engineering at Uni of New South and stuff like this. Um, there's, uh, where is it? Uh, studying EE at University of Sydney. Um, I hope you actually end up in the industry because <laughs> it's a bit of a thing um, that no, no EE graduate from the University of Sydney ends up actually working as an engineer in the industry. It's really weird. Nobody knows why. Um, <laughs> it's, it's just bizarre. It's just, I don't know, they go into management or they go into something else. I don't know. Anyway, that's just a yeah little aside. Anyway, um, uh, you know, like um, we've got uh, second year EE, uni students. So there's lots of uni students here. Look, here he is, like awesome, working on his robotics project and stuff. Absolutely Fantastic, right? Um, he's been watching EEV vlogs since year seven. Thank you very much. As in year seven at school, um, not the seventh year I've been doing it. Uh, year seven, I don't know what that is. Like the first year of high school here is called year seven um, for you Yanks. Who, what's that? Sophomore, freshman, sophomore? I, I don't know. Bloody American stuff. Um, anyway, yeah, the other, lots of people are 13 year old here. Um, uh, great video. Nice guy, uh, uh, Sean B. Um, it's it's seventeen year old from Melbourne, currently completing year uh, twelve, and um, yeah, I I like this one actually. Um, here it is. Um, <laughs> it's the uh the uh, number of tools you have versus productivity. Um, your your productivity and the coolness factor versus the number of tools. Um, unless you've been on the test equipment anonymous section of the forum, uh, the huge thread with like five thousand pages or something, then then. Yeah, um, some people have had to <laughs> put themselves, book themselves into therapy for actually collecting test equipment. Another 18-year-old student from Queensland University um, of, of technology, and people have put in like some photos of the stuff they're working on. Look, nice, right? Looks like it's a uh, VFD interface. Like, you know, fantastic um, projects, right? Great, great stuff. There's more. Um, there's someone was uh, 31 years young mechatronic engineer. That's a bit old. Sorry. I promised to give it away to a youngster. Um, and yeah, anyway, uh, yeah, Connor down here. I liked um, building his 14 year old buddy, an electrical engineer, and um, all the stuff he's working on, some Tesla stuff and all sorts of other um, things. And wants to get into aerospace um, engineering or something. And yeah, um, great. Jonathan, 16 year old from Melbourne. He is his lab. Here, you know, he's got a digital, one of the yellows, one of the uh, $2 yellow um, meters and the little, um, what is it, DSO 138 thing here and stuff like that. Um, yeah, so anyway, uh, thank you to everyone who entered. But I've decided, no correspondence will be entered into, I've decided to give it to, where is it? So, like, I wish I had more to give away. Like, there's, like, at least half a dozen in here I, I would give it to. Like, you know, but I decided to give it away to the winner is, the winner is Sine Wave. Sine Wave, who's a 13-year-old uh, human, uh, none of that alien rubbish. Um, and uh, yeah, he's just got a basic bench PSU and a BM29, uh, what's, what's a BM295? Um, <laughs> I don't know, but really need an oscilloscope uh, knowledge for here in Sydney as well. Um, most of the knowledge comes from watching my videos in 20. 21 and he's actually uh the re the thing that tipped me over here and a pro tip for other uh contests and by the way i think it was the most upvoted i think it was the most upvoted um one here oh sorry i should have like uh 
Should have given you a bigger font there. Anyway, yeah, I think it was the most upvoted one as well, but that that didn't sway me in the end. What what got me was the um, fact that at 13 year, years old, he's also in, he's in uh, year seven as well, uh, so he's just started high school. Um, he's actually been designing little expansion cards for the open source framework laptop, and he's actually starting, it looks like he's starting to get some funding from the framework company. I didn't know they were doing that, but that's great. Uh, he's getting ready to sell his first expansion card. So yeah, I think that's absolutely fantastic. And this is um, uh, whoop, is it gonna? Whoop, yep, it's gonna open there. He's had to get a bodge wire on there because he uh, forgot to connect the uh, copper pour in there. That's where you have to do your DRC check in. Uh, I've done a video on that somewhere. Um, but yeah, <laughs> it's, it's good that you learn like that. Fantastic. And some other boards he's done. Uh, let's go over here and have a squeeze. Look, I've, like. This is good stuff. One and this one worked partially. I like that. <laughs> worked partially. Um, it's an Ethernet adapter, right? This is a 13-year-old kid. But these are nice. Um, one of those opto isolator, USB opto isolator board, and stuff, right? Serial adapter for networking gear, right? Awesome stuff. So, uh, for especially for a 13-year-old. So hopefully, um. Everyone agrees that that's a pretty, I think it's a pretty good choice. Um, but then again, I'm a bit biased. But yeah, um, same way. I don't know, know your real name, but I've got your email address and I will contact you. So congratulations for winning the scope. I will uh, ship that to you and come with two probes and uh, hopefully it continues to work. I mean... <laughs> Please, please let us know, and please uh, post a, um, a, a photo on the forum when you actually get it, and um, set it up, and let us uh, keep us updated um, how it's working. Um, the, yeah, because we want to know if it fails. <laughs> I might have to do something if it does. I don't know. <laughs> Fix it again. Do another repair. We can do a collab video repairing it or something. I don't know. Um, anyway, congratulations. Sine wave. So there you go. Um, you'll get this very shortly. I will contact you via email. Anyway, thoughts and comments down below. Catch you next time.